Today is Saturday and that means only one thing, it's another day of the vlog down. So today I thought I'd take another look at the camera trap footage from the last week and show you what's been going on. So stay tuned for fox bum shuffling, I guess you could call it, and also some more interactions between the three of them. Oh, and are there still three foxes in the garden? Well, let's find out all in the next 10 or so minutes. Stay tuned. So the biggest change between the last video and this video is the foxes have finally been making some early morning visits. Some have been short-lived, like, sh like the young female's visit in the last clip, and some have been slightly longer visits, like this clip of Patch, and also this clip of, again, the young female. It's also been really good to be able to check up on the fox's health just to make sure they're all okay and all looking good and to make sure that they don't have any sort of um, wear and tear I guess or anything that needs generally looking into or that I should be worried about. So recently I've also changed uh, the items of food that we've been feeding the foxes and we've gone from a diet of mainly peanuts to uh, interchanging it between peanuts and a special uh, fox badger formula um, that I found. And also it's been pretty, and I've also been uh, providing water as well. So it's all important to note that it foxes, although I am feeding the foxes, I'm only giving them in a small bit of food. They are still being encouraged to get their own food at night. Um, and they're still being encouraged to forage naturally as well. And as a bit of enrichment, I've also been uh, hiding food in long grass in places that they wouldn't normally expect it, as well as using the tray that you can see in the middle of the screen here. Foxes aren't the only things that have been visiting early morning. This blackbird is the first that the camera trap has caught. And as you can see, the usual feral pigeons are in the background as well. But yes, it's been really quite interesting to see what's happened. There's also been some more interesting interactions. This is the young female and Patch. I'm not entirely sure what happens here. But as you can see, you can probably guess how Patch has had her ear taken off. So at the beginning of the video, I hinted that there could be a new fox in the garden. And this is in fact the new fox. So this, I believe, is a young male. He's quite a short, stubby fox, to be fair. Very small compared to the others, probably about half the size. So I presume it's about a one-year-old male. But he seems very, very timid every time he comes into the garden. Which to me suggests that he's currently looking for new territory and knows that if he's caught in this territory, he will be kicked off. So another new night here and the same old thing. The young female seems to be in close company with the older male. And to be fair, this seems to be the case all the time. Whenever the male's in the garden, the young female's never far away and always turns up just after he does. Uh, the same goes with Patch, actually. The young female seems to be very, very fond of staying with her as well. Here's another example of it. But the moment you've probably all been waiting for, I hinted at it at the beginning of the foot at the video. Have a look at this. Yep, you won't see this anywhere else, folks. That is a bum shuffling fox. And here it is in slow motion. So what this fox is actually doing is we think it might have worms. So I guess this is the way the fox is itching its bum. That's the best way I can put it anyway. So recently the corvids have been watching me put out the food. And in fact, they're really clever because they've managed to figure out that these new pellets are really, really good, tasty food for their chicks. But I'll come back to that in a second. Because here is the male and the female having a bit of a scrap. But 
I'm not entirely convinced that this is our normal male. And it, I'm not even convinced it is actually our um, resident sort of younger male either. I think this might even be a fifth fox. But I want to see more footage of it uh, before I'm completely convinced about that. The reason why I think that is because if you go back to the first video before, it looks to have a different tail shape to either of the two foxes that I've, we've previously seen uh, that are males that visit the garden. Although the fact that he's very tolerant of the young female here might just disprove my point and it might just be that his tail was a bit sort of fluffed up or something like that. So here is another clip of both Patch, who is the one that comes in first, and the young, oh no, sorry, Patch is the one at the back, and the young female is the one that comes in first at the front. So Patch is the one that dr is the one drinking the water in this clip. And as you can see, again, very tolerant of each other, sort of indicative of family group. And again, here is another clip of them during the day. In fact, in this clip, she actually knocks the camera. And of course, the crow's back to mop up all everything in the next morning. I mean, once they've found the food source, they are very, very clever and diligent and come back, as you will be about to see in a minute. So now I knew that once one corvid had found the uh, food, I knew that others would follow. So this jay and the magpie you'll see in the clip after this were just an example of them. And in fact, the jays were here mainly taking the peanuts. But the magpies and the crows were literally guzzling the pellets down. So magpies, and, well, a lot of most corvid species have something called a crop, which means they can hold these foods or food in their, in a sort of compartment, if you like, in their throat and then feed them to their chicks without digesting them, which is really quite clever. Now, here is some more footage of the male and the young female and of course this is what we've come to expect now very tame tolerant of each other however towards the end of this night i did get a nasty surprise and that was unfortunately as you'll see in the next clip coming up the young female now has a limp and i'm going to be keeping an eye on this in the next few days and i'm going to show you a few more footages of it of the a uh, few a few more bits and pieces of footage of it of course, the next morning, what comes in to clear up the mess, but of course, one of the local grey squirrels. And of course, once these animals have learnt there could be a food source there, obviously it's only the scraps that the foxes leave, they will come back most mornings. So now, I'm not entirely sure what has caused this limp of the young females, but as far as I'm aware, it's not that bad but I will be keeping an eye on it over the coming uh, days and weeks and if there is any or then if there is a problem with it or it looks to be getting worse then I will consider seeking some help but for now it seems okay so thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are enjoying the vlog down at the moment I am going to be switching the vlog down to just once a week just until uh, June and then perhaps going back to twice a week uh, just because I've got a lot of assignments coming up and I think it would be easier if everybody was just working on it once a week. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope everybody is well, uh, stay safe and I hope you enjoy the nice weather that is coming this week. Um, so yeah, next Saturday join me for another vlog. We well, don't know what it'll be on yet, but stay tuned. Enjoy this little bit of extra bonus footage from the last week. Bit of music, stuff like that. But yeah, stay safe and see you guys on Saturday. <laughs>